Welcome everyone to the Daily Volatility Box Report for November 21st, 2019. We are TOSindicators.com, home of the Volatility Box. For today's trading, we didn't really have anything that's set up in our futures market. However, uh, quite a few of our stock volatility box traders did report uh, entries all over the place. And so I think that was a little bit in uh, interesting to see, uh, to say the least. Uh, and some of you have even started using watch lists like the IBD50, uh, the Growth Market 250, which I think it just offers you a lot of variety in terms of different stocks that you like to look at. Uh, some of you have even started building your own scans using things like volatility conditions, which I think is just uh, kind of goes to speak uh, in terms of how the stock volatility box can be used for a variety of different trading styles. Uh, just depends on whatever fits really your boat, right? If you're a moving average trader, fine, you can use it with that. Uh, if you enjoy trading fundamentals, that's perfectly okay too. You build your list of stocks that just are high quality and you can start to trade uh, just the particular list of tickers that you're looking at. And that's where the stock volatility box, I think, just really starts to offer you uh, a ton more opportunities than our traditional futures volatility box, which in days like today really gave you zero entries. Now on tomorrow for the calendar, we don't really see anything that calls for us to have major attention. Really the only thing that I think uh, is sort of noteworthy is our PMI numbers that are coming out, our manufacturing numbers. Uh, and I think that's the one thing, if you're looking to play this event a little bit more cautiously, then you may want to be on the uh, conservative volatility box. However, for us aggressive traders, you'd be really looking for uh, those dynamic RSI candles to give you that color switch uh, at the edge with an edge. And I think that then helps you confirm some of the more aggressive entries and just have a little bit more confidence uh, in that trade. And then finally, uh, the last thing I'll talk about in tonight's video, we'll keep it kind of short, we will actually just avoid charts altogether, is uh, the updates that we've made to the multi-time frame uh, DMI indicator. And actually, I lied, we'll go to the charts just to show you the actual changes that we've made. And so if we look at the actual indicator code, uh, you'll notice in the code header we have uh, sort of a detailed list of notes in which we've captured each of these specific changes. Uh, but just to cover some of them, the colored candles now work for those of you that tried to turn this feature off. Uh, now it will actually turn off. Uh, we've also renamed ADX length to ADX levels. And we've also gone ahead and actually fixed some of the label code here where uh, some users mentioned that you couldn't see, uh, say, one candle on the daily chart look to be a certain color, while on the same time frame chart that daily label would show up as a different colored candle. Well, now all of those issues are resolved. The code is updated on the website, which I think should be uh, sort of the most up-to-date code, uh, at least up to right now. The one thing that we're currently studying is whether or not the ATR really adds any sort of value into our trades, especially with the DMI indicator. If it does, we'll go ahead and add that back in. Uh, but as of right now, we haven't really seen any, any indication that calls for us to add the ATR back in. And so that I think was simply just taking up more lines of code, which ultimately takes up more of our RAM usage on our CPUs. And I think that's really the, the, the need to keep this code as slim as possible, especially uh, since it covers just a wide variety of timeframes, which by nature is really just lengthy. Some of you who uh, I think have also tried to trim this down have noticed that, uh, say, looking at just the timeframes that you particularly look at uh, really just makes this indicator a lot faster. And so that's just a pro tip for those of you that are looking to use this indicator in your trading. The purpose of it is to help you find a lot of these burst moves that we talk about where you can notice some of these color changes where say our monthly candle we can see using our DMI indicator, which is a little bit more momentum based trading, shows you that on our monthly chart, we're a bit more bullish versus, versus on our weekly four day, three day charts, we're a little bit more on the neutral zone. But then once again, as we come to our two day chart, we're a bit more bullish. And then again, our daily candle, uh, shows us that we're in unusual zone territory, which we see does match up with our actual daily chart, right? And I think that's the power of this uh, this indicator is as you start to go down to the minute time frames, you can start to identify things like reversals and dominoes falling on the smallest time frames to use that as a predictor for future moves to come. All right, while short, I think today's video uh, achieves the purpose, which is really to look at what's on the calendar tomorrow and discuss the changes that we've made in the multi-time frame DMI indicator, which really helps you find some of those powerful moves that you're really looking to trade and helps you time those reversals and almost pinpoint the exact entry point. And if you start to overlap that with things like our volatility box, especially our stock volatility box, I think you're in a whole new territory in terms of probabilities, in terms of risk to reward, and in terms of the types of trades that you're creating for yourself. 
Uh, our stock volatility box traders, you already know that. I think you're excited uh, with the tool that we are building, and I think we're equally excited to start to hear some of your feedback and start to build some features that you yourselves are looking for in a tool that can help you day trade uh, the markets a little bit better or even swing trade the markets if that's a little bit more your trading style. All right, take care, everyone, and we'll see you in tomorrow's nightly update.